Hello there fellow changelings of the changeling army. I'm the gaming changeling awesome and welcome to Well, I guess it's called a we visit of God of War for the PS2 Now I am using an emulator for this so that I can play this Just, uh, There we go get that off And put on my screen And I'll see what it looks like for the first part of it and then uh, from there. Now I am using uh, Cold Breaker. Now this is something you can get for uh, the emulator which I'm using. It's, uh, link will be in the description for both. Well both of course well the WAM, which is of course going to be for God of War. The uh, Cold Breaker WAM. Now one thing is going to be very apparent. Uh, I might make a tuto little tutorial on it. Or you can even look it up yourself. Uh, what you're actually supposed to do with the Cold Breaker thing is put Cold Breaker on first. Find the game that you particularly have or want to see what will happen once you put on the, well, Pacific Codes. Then uh, press start for whatever button, you, whatever controller you have on it. And then after that, you'll get prompted with something called Swap This or Reset. You want Swap This. Click that, and then we'll go back, then press X to continue, and you'll be brought to the game with what I've done here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much uh, turn that off and tell you what I did. Like right here, I already have Code Breaker. I'm gonna have to cancel that. Now, of course, I have this in my emulator drive with what I called it. We boot up this PCSX2.exe, which will be in the link in the description for both this. Then go to ISO select and you want Code Breaker. After that, boot it up. Now, of course, you may have to wait for it to boot up depending on your system preferences. Uh, once that booted up, there. Now this is a real thing by the way. This is a real thing that you can get. Then you want uh, select cheats and you can see that the uh, 1,342 games available. Now some of these I've never heard of. Some of them you may have. Want to keep going. Go ahead. Go all the way down into till you find the one you specifically want. Uh, keep going down. Da, 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 da. I think I already went past it. Yes, I did. And right there. Now I press left on the D-pad. And you can see you got a bunch of various, various different uh, codes. Now, of course, I already have the ones I want on here. Now the enable code, which is, well, what you specifically have to have on. It's something, um, first sentence I ever got was around when I had the Bustle Boy Advance, which was when I initially got into emulators. Now, emulators in themselves are roughly around various things here and there. So you got the enable code. Now, I'm not putting on infinite health for obvious reasons. I want, even though I'm going to do a revisit of this game, I'm not going to, well, make myself immortal. Unlike what I did when I did the revisit for Doom 2016 and the uh, Doom Eternal one. Which now I know I am excited for whenever the DLC comes out for that. Which will probably be like the end of the series. Like the infinite, the ultimate end of the game itself. And infinite double jumps. After you've done all that, put on what you want. You press start and you'll be brought here. Now, what you want to do, now of course it's, there we go, want to uh, go ahead and start game. Then you'll be brought to this, please insert game, then press X to continue. What you need to do there, afterwards, go onto this right here, the actual main thing is what you need here. Uh, turn this off and everything turns off. Go into uh, uh, here, ISO select, and select the game you want. In case okay, it's going to be the God of War. Then you want Swap Disk. Hit that and everything will go here. Then, afterwards, 
press continue with whatever it's going to be. On. I'm using a uh, Xbox 360 wireless controller, so in terms of the uh, X button, it's the A button. Now, it does still play like it would on a PS4, which, as you know, I can tell, I do have a... I do have a PS4 controller with DS4 Windows, but I just use my iPod controller since it's a lot easier to hook up. So there we go. Please wait. Starting game. And there you go. Game will start. As you can already can tell. Now you may already know it is, is that I'm going to be playing on normal. And you also notice that yes, I have costumes. Uh, these costumes are unlocked once you do something called Challenge of the Gods, which, by the way, I'm not actually going to be selling you, though, because they can suck my ass. I'm not kidding. Some of them are downright really stupid to do. But you got the Sephiroth, Bubbles, the Kunis, Daily Bastard, which is what I initially did this on, and the Aries Armor. Aries Armor is pretty much the best thing you can get in the game, which is double... Double everything, and since I, of course, am playing it, pretty much going to be doing a revisit, I'm doing this with the Ares on. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Now there is no hope. And Kratos cast himself from the highest mountain in all of Greece. After ten years of suffering, ten years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Death would be his escape from madness. But it had not always been this way. Kratos had once been a champion of the gods. Oh, beast! I will send you back to the depths of Hades! And here we go! And yep, that is the uh, best armor in the game, W Staff. And of course, you got, uh, it will probably tell you, Squid, of course, your uh, light attack. Oh, by the way, I'm also playing this on normal. Yeah, there you go. So your light attack, and you can also do, of course, your heavy attack. There you go, you can also press circle. Circle, you can grab the enemy. Oh, and yes, I do have uh, infinite magic on for obvious reasons. Now, in case you're wondering uh, what the difficulty spike is, all that the difficulty spike does is make the enemies hit harder. Now, if, what I will make mention of is if you want to play this on something like Tycoonus, I, I very strongly recommend you play it on easy if you're playing one of the with Tycoonus. Now, you may notice that we're getting red ore. Go ahead and press the fast button there, which will give you up to your, well, power-up information. Red orbs is this, essentially your experience in the game. Go ahead and put that up there. Of course. There we go. And of course, that's uh, health, which I don't really necessarily need a whole lot of. And you may notice this. Yep, infinite jump. Now, I'm not playing the uh, remaster of this, because, well, you could essentially play the remaster on the PS4. However, I'm having a slight problem with that. Go ahead to get a block button with the. Uh,
Ja. That was quick. Yeah, and this is a uh, mini game. And of course, this one's always going to be fine, though. And hey, you got something in your eye. Let me get that for you. Also, also, you want to balance on the beam like that? You press X quickly to uh, leap back on the ledge. Because I'm gonna be taking the absolute crap out of it. So, there we go. Stay away! Stay away from me! I know who you are, Spartan. I know what you've done. I would rather die than be saved by you. By the way, that's the guy's uh, pretty much the running gag of uh, at least three of them. Go ahead and open up this. More orbs. And also evade, which will uh, be useful later. And some harpies, which. Uh, Yep. By the way, I hope you uh, remember how to do the square, square, no square. Yeah, make sure you remember that combo for a little later in the game once we actually get into. Oh, hello. There we go. Press that circle button. And down you go. And just like that, we're done. Now I will make mention is that uh, after this game they don't re don't do boss anymore. At least in terms of uh, two, uh, let's see, God of War two, God of War three. Oh, blank chest, and it's oh. uh, blank chest. Uh, what they can do is they can either contain red orbs, Gorgon eye. Or Phoenix Feather. Gorgon Eyes are used to increase your health. Phoenix Feathers are used to increase your magic, which we'll be getting uh, very shortly. Oh yeah, uh, press and hold that. And you can uh, launch enemies into the air. This is not really necessarily utilized all that much. At least in terms of me playing this game. Of course, unlike... Uh, for Elliot from SCB, I'm not gonna die here. And do that. I power up my blades. I do know about the PS, uh, the two PSP games. Visions, they were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! Oh, these creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed, all hope is lost, Spartan, even for you- Now, as I was saying, I know about- oh. 
And this is a save with uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do. Go ahead and overwrite that. Now, I do know about the uh, PSP games. Also, time to uh, pick a box. Ow. I'm going to at least attempt to get to do some of it legitimately. Oh, maybe not. Alright, then you want to go be mano a mano? There you are then. Time to get the uh, swords up the ass. And, uh, time to sweat and spread those cheeks. And I've lost way too much to of course. Go. There we go. Up we go. Go up on a wolf. Up. Down you go! Yep, grab enemies. Pull them down. I got the fly! Did you get the fly? What fly? There we go! There we go. Open up the chest! How of my blades? There we go, down we go! Okay, there's a wet chest. Open it up. And there we go, collect enough ore to power up your weapons. Oh, it's actually 94. And now we have Way to the Gods! Let the rage of the gods drive your blades, Kratos! Basically, it's an invincibility. However, I'm not gonna necessarily use it all that much. And there we go, Gorgon Eye, collect 5, increase my maximum health. Now, in case you're wondering uh, about something else called Muse Keys, I'll explain what those are when we get them. And here's of course one of our first power-ups. Which uh, I abused the hell out of. Lord Poseidon, Kratos, before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable. Need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Poseidon's way. Go with the gods, Kratos. Go forth in the name of Olympus. And this is one of our things here, which we just do a do that. And since I do have infinite magic on, it's as if I'm wearing the daily bastard costume. But still, I, I gotta say, a lot of people when they watch that really absolutely loved my playthrough of the game using uh, daily bastards. I, I mean, granted for the most part, I did. Nope. Wait, wait, wait. wait I don't want to do that. I want to do that. 
Yeah, there might be a few uh, recording uh, screw ups, so I might have to go ahead and do that. And say hello to uh, pretty much first main boss. Get them away from the Why won't they die? It's the giant one! He keeps healing the others! No, I. God! We'll never get out of here! And there's the big guy right there. Now, I'll tell you why I like to ow abuse it. That's in the obvious. And boom! Go gone. Go ahead and put that two here. And then we can get a spin attack. Trust me. If you're gonna give me something to do with infinite magic, I'm gonna abuse it. And there we go, both of those are down. Now we can get up to the big guy himself. Perfect time to use Poseidon's Blade. Right now! Make sure you match that circle button! I believe you gotta do this, I believe, uh, four times. Ow. Right, once more. Ow. Now just whack him. And then mash that circle button yet again! And Hydra is down! Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I 
didn't come back for you. No! Yeah, but he is pretty much the running gag of the uh, game series. No. Um, what I was trying to say before is that um, this game, as well as Chains of Olympus, are the only games that ever had a health bar. Then after that, they pretty much just did away with the health bars. And uh, all you had to do was pretty much whack them until they're dead. That was pretty much the main thing with that. Now, I didn't necessarily uh, like the idea. I like the idea of the of at least being able to see how much damage I'm actually doing to the enemy. Time for some sock and all. <laughs> and then we can uh, continue on. Yeah. Unlock the door there. Oh, I know about the um, the uh, sex scene. I'm not doing it. I want to at least somewhat be uh, friendly here. As opposed to the HD cutscene here. Slaughtered like animals, the victims lay before him. A reminder of his own past. A past he could never escape. His only solace was the sea. Endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next, in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. And yes, I know about some nip slips. Don't worry. I realize that. This game is rated uh, T for teens, so there's going to be some mature um, scenes here, so I do apologize for that. Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city of Athens. And this is where pretty much the main game is. Oh, and there's another titty shot. I'm gonna immediately just uh, go with that. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm gonna skip that. Then I'm skipping every single minigame, it's just I'm gonna skip it for obvious reasons. I'm glad that was actually one of my more, I guess you could say, earlier games I did for the channel. But I think you get the idea.
Destroy Ares, and the gods will forgive you your past. Well then, let's um, kill ourselves some people. Of course, let's use the heck out of the lightning attack. Oh, in case you're wondering why they're circle up above their head. Oh, that just means you can do a finishing move. Uh, all that finishing moves do is just uh, it gives you more orbs. That's all it does. Let's go destroy those optics. Oh! Hey, the Wonder Wing, I've actually played this game and beaten it multiple times. So I know quite a bit about this. Gonna open up this blank chest, and what do we get? Phoenix Feathers! Uh, five of those, and those increase your magic. Also, after I increase the uh, thing for the lightning attack, I'm going to be, well, hoarding the orbs. There's one particular section, at least in the early birth, early stage of this, that you're going to hate, and you, and it will require you to use Medusa's gaze. Now, of course, uh, Medusa's Gate does not work on well, obvious. Oh, and we get introduced to a new run, enemy. Run! The beasts have taken Athens! Minotaurs! Look out! No! No! Stay away from me! Big Hawking Brutes, uh, they will pretty much just use your use that axe. Also, if you are uh, oh, also come here. This is how you can actually replenish health. Just mass that circle button. Stab uh, throw it down its throat, and we get health. Oh yeah, be careful when you do combos. Ow. Did not. Also, I'm not really too concerned about health. Yeah, you know, because I'm wearing the Ares armor, which is the best armor in the game. And uh, apparently, we're done. Oh, those uh, blue chests you see over there, those are massic chests. To, um, well, the plan is your massic. However, of course, we're not going to be using magic for the bomb. Those things for obvious reasons, because we got infinite magic on. Oh, and say hello to another new enemy, the trolls. And no, not those infinite trolls. Yeah, of course. There we go. Circle. X. Square. Very good to these right back because you can get a ton of force out. Ow. Did not. And there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and open up this chest. <laughs> Got enough to power up this.
And now I'm gonna start um, pointing orbs. Because you're gonna be getting a new power up here very soon. Go ahead and uh, I'll hit that one. And then hit this one. And there you go. Now let's see over this way. Go ahead and open up this. Over this way, there's another chest. Now some of these are easy to miss. And we get a Gorgon Eye. And then up here is another blank chest. And it's Red Orb. And we're done here. And this is where we get our next one. Which, by the way, um, there's actually an area where you can get a lot of orbs. Aphrodite. Kratos, the gods are pleased with your progress, but your current skills will not be enough to defeat the minions of Ares. I offer you the power to freeze your enemies where they stand, but you must earn such a gift. The Queen of the Gorgons! Bring me her head, Kratos, and I will give you the ability to wield its power. Again, I apologize for the titty shot, but hey. Dodge! 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 That can be an insta-kill. We'll take the left stick. And there we go. You got pretty much a really good thing. Medusa's cage. But uh, we're immediately going to go ahead and stop powering that up. Destroy them all with Medusa's gaze and the power of the Gorgon will be yours. Essentially, Now, just me, but it does sound like she's reading it from a script. Uh, oh! The, um... They're gone. Okay. This is one that I do abuse quite a bit. I mean, that give you quite a bit of getting the uh, quest achievement of quite a bit. Go ahead and uh, now I have to the no idea how you get to these chests. I'm not kidding. I legitimately don't know how you get to them. But we're going to go ahead and uh, rotate it once again. By the way, I'm only going to be using this uh, three times. This is the second time, which is used to progress. 
go. And once more. Oh, you cannot. I know you can use it to get rid of the Minotaurs there. Get in there. there we go. I'm getting uh, up to 41 minutes. Now. I legitimately don't know how you get to him. So I'm pretty much just using the infinite jump to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go ahead and uh, save here. And I'm going to call the episode here for right now. Uh, so far what I accidentally think of the game is it's okay for what it is. I mean it's God of War, it's just your basic hack and slash, slash uh, action platformer. And also it kind of piques my interest because I'm interested in Greek mythology. Heck, I read a series called uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians and believe it or not I actually utilized my knowledge from that to get myself through that subject and it really worked out pretty well so uh, regardless I do hope you will enjoy the series as much as I will enjoy making it uh, subscribe if you want to check out other videos I've done in the past or to stay tuned for future videos on the channel comment down below if you have any tips or tricks about this game or if you want me to check out uh, games on the channel, be sure to let me know. And until next time, stay transcend cooler, and I'll see you in the next video, my friends. Bye-bye.